big win for the race to the White House. Two nights ago, former President Donald Trump gave the longest speech at a national political convention ever. We're talking about 92 minutes. And President Joe Biden now faces an ever-growing list of Democrats telling him to drop out of the race. That list now includes Fort Worth Congressman Mark Vesey. Here's Brian Abel with the latest. A dizzying week in U.S. politics, shaking up the 2024 race for the White House. What began with an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump became a rallying cry for the Republican Party as members united behind their leader. The culmination of the Republican National Convention and at times subdued, other times fiery speech from Trump himself as he formally accepted the GOP nomination for president for the third time. The discord and division in our society must be healed. We must heal it quickly. The Democrat Party should immediately stop weaponizing the justice system and labeling their political opponent as an enemy of democracy. The Republican unity, a stark contrast to the division among Democrats. A, a big part of his legacy uh, should be him stepping aside and allowing for that new leadership. President Joe Biden, sidelined, diagnosed with COVID while campaigning in Nevada, is now self-isolating in Delaware and assisting he is staying in the race. Absolutely the president's in this race. You've heard him say that time and time again. Biden releasing a statement vowing to be back on the campaign trail next week. But privately, sources claim Biden is beginning to take concerns of many in his party into greater consideration, following conversations with party leaders who are worried he cannot win in November and puts vulnerable Democrats up and down the ballot at risk.